Hello and welcome to Mr Ridley's Design and Technology. We're going to have a look at this sheet which is for the um, GCSE NEA coursework and this sheet is about development and card modelling. So if we look here with um, development it's uh, generating design ideas and developing design ideas. So there's 10 marks and 10 marks. It's actually the same amount of marks in that section as there are in the making. So the developing is very important and showing progression. So I'm just going to show you here how we show progression in our card modelling. So we've started off, here's the completed sheet and we've got three different card models and we'll take a look at those and just see how we've development, developed them. Um, so here's the first card model and you can see it's a, a basic cube with a handle. Um, there's there's a, a solar panel or photovoltaic, I've just put some ink on there on the top and, and that's the first model and I've got a description here and I said this was my first design for my garden light, it's for a garden light. Um, it's a very simple design with a rectangular lantern, I've added a darker panel on the top to represent the photovoltaic. Um, the final version will be solar powered and we'll have a small rechargeable battery that can charge up during the day. Um, the design seems to be very straightforward to manufacture. So I've commented on the manufacturer, I've commented on the design. Um, I've also down here said that my client wanted to hang it up, so that's the first model. Then I've gone on to this model. So this model, you, you can see that there is a... You know, I've just made it taller, I've changed the thing. And we'll just look at the description here. So I've put here Carbon 2. And I've said for my ne next design, I took inspiration from my client's comments about her interest in old buildings and architecture, and in particular, old churches. I've added a pent roof to design, changed the light, uh, light panel or window to a more interesting shape than it is inspired by a church window. And I've increased the base by 10 millimetres. So I've listed the improvements and I've shown, and I, I've responded, if you like, to my client's brief. Because obviously the client had an interest in old churches, so I've, I've made this kind of architectural top. So that's, that's the first bit, that's the second model there. So we've got the second model. And now we come to the third and the final model. So the final model is here, and this is the final model that I've created. And this is... I don't know, 230 millimetres tall. So actually, this is more or less actual size. I've modelled this actual size. Because this is a piece of furniture, you couldn't. You'd make it much smaller. But this, I've just made it that size. And I'll, I'll show you why. For my last model, I've added um, more details to create a more complex and sophisticated look. I used Texoft V3 to draw a frame to match the church window shape. So use, using Texoft down here... Um, you just see that here. Um, I've used text off there to design um, this window shape and cut this out with a laser. So we've cut out this window frame and that goes on there. So that, that gives us more complexity. Um, I then used the laser cutters to cut out the window shapes. I also made the base thicker, which will make the lamp more stable um, and less prone to falling over. Um, I like the handle which on the top, so we'd lost the handle on the second one, and I've added this loop on the top, so we've added the handle here. Um, so that's the model there. Um, I thought about this. Uh, my first design was missing the previous model. I thought about this. My client mentioned being able to hang up the lantern, so there's there. And I've just shown this CAD component. Now, the thing about this is because it's the same size, I could... Um, possibly laser cut this from acrylic or plywood and actually fit it to my final design because and the last thing here if we look down here and I'll just show you this one here this one here if you want to read them and that one there and then down here we've got a conclusion and the conclusion said I'm really pleased with the development of my lamp design and think the model could now go on to the next stage of manufacture. I've showed the card model to my client and she was very happy with it. She particularly liked the window frames I added. The far, final card model is 230 millimeters tall and my client told me she was happy to have a product that was that size. So I may be able to utilize the CAD drawings to create the final window frames. So there we go. There's, there's that sheet. So we've got the three card models. We've got, we're showing development of our idea. So we, we're picking up really marks here for um, generating design ideas because these are design ideas 
um, and we're showing development as well. So um, this is a very good sheet to complete to get a you know, very rich in marks. We can get a lot of marks from this sheet by creating these models, showing development and feeding back and looking at our clients' needs. Thank you for watching Mr. Ridley's Design and Technology.